I'm Matt Lunsford. I'm a junior in Crane Art School of Management, and I'm the president of Students for John McCain and the marketing director for College Republicans. I'm Brianna Burry. I'm a freshman here at Purdue University in the College of Science, and I'm a member of College Republicans. We've had a lot of foot traffic back and forth. Um, I mean, obviously, it picks up uh, when uh, classes get out and people are just a natural flow around campus, but we've got a lot of positive attention from the students. Uh, a lot of people have thought, thanked us for being out here, mm -hmm. giving out free stickers and that kind of stuff, information about the candidates. So what can you say about the political climate of campus? Are you pretty optimistic? Uh, or We try. Um, yeah, I think it's pretty 50-50, actually. We get a lot of positive feedback, and I mean, it, we're, we don't like, you know, like fight or anything. I mean, um, we get along pretty well. I think it's optimistic, definitely. Mm -hmm. It's definitely not a battle of, of power on <laughs> campus. Um, I, I think it's safe to say that generally on college campuses there's more of a liberal um, trend on voting patterns and stuff but at the same time Purdue is uh, agriculture school engineering um, we, there's a, a large conservative base here so it helps out mm -hmm. well, this is the first presidential election that I've really been influential in and had a, a big part especially on a college campus and first college election um, but it's it's fun I like college politics is fun um, yeah. You have your extreme right and your extreme left, and then you have everybody else in the middle. So mm -hmm. it's it's fun to see how people think and what they agree with and what they don't agree with, and how those uh, how their opinions change like as they progress through college. Because mm -hmm. I know mine have, so I'm sure other people's have too. And it's such an intense election. Like everybody's into it. it they know how important it is, and everybody wants to go out and be a part of this huge election that is just going to change America. Uh, my name is Damian Morgan. I'm a volunteer for the uh, Barack Obama campaign. My name is Sergio Flores, and I'm also a volunteer for the Obama campaign. Well, how's it been going so far today with this booth and everything? Uh, it's definitely been going great. Uh, a lot of uh, Barack Obama supporters, a few McCain supporters have been walking past us, but uh, it's been overwhelmingly uh, Barack Obama. Mm -hmm. And so has this been pretty similar to the past couple of weeks that you guys have been out here? Right, yes, definitely. Uh, just because it is Election Day, it's been more turnout, more people walking around campus, but we still had a heavy amount of people walking around. So. And did both of you vote today? Yes, sure did. I actually became a citizen about two weeks before the, reg the registration deadline so you know this is my this is a pretty special event uh, I actually voted early uh, during the two weeks ago at the Stewart Center when they had three days of early voting so now you said you became a citizen now why does this election so this is the first election that you've participated mm -hmm. in what's so special about this one well I can have a voice as a minority I'm from Mexico and now that I'm a naturalized citizen I can have a say in who's going to be president, who's going to be governor and I, I feel like I, I gave back you know those rights were given to me by our fallen heroes throughout the you know decades and it is only right for us to vote to give back and say thank you. And why do you both think that Obama is the best guy for the job? Simply because uh, Obama offers a, a change in direction uh, for the last eight years. Uh, we've been embroiled in an, an economic mess and it's come to a head right now. And uh, the other candidate supports 90% uh, of the time with George Bush and that's just not going to work. You know, We don't need an A-plus with Bush, we need an A-plus with change and Obama brings change. So. I feel um, completed. I mean, it's the kind of thing you, 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 I've been working for six months very, very hard at this. And, uh, Today's the end of it. You feel like, well, I don't know what I can do. So I feel very completed, very satisfied. You feel optimistic? I do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I do. And what are you doing out here today? Why, why to, here? Today, well, I, well, one thing, I love Purdue and I love students. I just like interacting with students. And so it's just fun to, to talk to them. A lot of them have already voted early. It's an amazing number of voted early. And just a good job. Glad like you voted. And then the last two students come to me. And I voted for you. And that's always pleasing. So it's just, I like to be around students. So. Did you think about the results tonight? Yes, I'm, yes, definitely. I'm I'm pretty excited to to just hear those words. And the next president is Barack Obama. I cannot wait to hear those words because Barack Obama to the Latino population means a lot. Um, you know, he he represents minorities all over the United States, and he's given us a voice more than we had before. Of course, you know, it's not like people are discriminating against us, but. Yet again, we have more of a voice because he's recognizing us. He has gone to hospitals and you know talked to minorities and he heard what they think. And I've never heard of anything that McCain has done anything like that. Nothing, nothing. 
uh, definitely Obama's the man. And it's not just Hispanic people, it's not just black people, it's all people. I mean, if you look across the world, I mean, people are really ready for Obama to be president, even across America, Canada, Europe, everywhere. And I, I think it's going to be a very good change. Why there's so much interest in him? I think everybody realizes that, that, the, the, that the United States is in a crisis situation. I, the, the Wall Street crash, I mean, that's the biggest thing since, since 29. I mean, that's a, it's real, real world in the economy. Gas prices were over $4 here for, for a long time this summer. Um, we, we, we recognize that our allies in Europe have a lot lower regard for us now than they've had for a long time. We're, going, we're fighting two wars alone, and it's breaking the bank. I think that the, 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 the voters sense this, they sense this, this real problem that there needs to be new leadership. I mean, no matter what side they go to, I think they realize that they need to have a complete changeover and uh, the only way you're going to make that happen is by voting. And we're going to have a tremendous turnout here in Tippecanoe County. It's going to be, it's going to break all records, probably over 70 percent, I would think, based on early, early vote. So. It's just gonna be, it's just phenomenal. And I'm excited because of, of, of your, your, your generation. My daughter's 30, and her generation was apathetic, I thought, when they came through. Now, she's kind of fired up this year, but her, her, her friends aren't at, as excited as your generation, this younger generation that's in school now, 18 to 21 year olds. It's just, it's, it's just phenomenal, and it makes me feel so proud because I can see these young people, the next generation coming in and taking charge. And look at, look at, look at they're taking charge. It's just, fan it's just phenomenal. It's exciting, and I think it's just, it bodes well for the future. Today's a great day to be an American. It really is. Great day to be an American.